Our uh, next speaker is uh, Lorenzo Lamberti, a PhD student at the University of Bologna. Uh, his uh, talk is going to be on low power license plates detection and recognition on a RISC V multi core MCU based vision system. Uh, go ahead and take over, Lorenzo. Yeah, thank you very much. So today I'm going to present our work uh, entitled Low Power License Plate Detection and Recognition on a RISC V multi core MCU based vision system. But let's uh, begin by introducing the problem. Uh, deep learning visual tasks, uh, uh, such as optical character recognition, are usually too computationally intensive to be implemented on IoT devices. Therefore, this kind of application has been implemented on high-end devices only. For example, uh, it has been implemented on HPC servers, on powerful GPUs, on FPGAs, and even on mobile devices. But still, there it is very hard to tackle such tasks on IoT devices, like MCUs. On one side, uh, MCUs are the ideal IoT platform because uh, they are low power, they are uh, low cost, and they are highly flexible. But on the other hand, MCUs pre present severe limitations because uh, the memory is very limited, up to a few megabytes, and the computational power constraint too, resulting in a very low uh, inference throughput. Therefore, the focus of this work is to overcome all of these challenges demonstrating that low power MCUs are suitable for performing deep learning tasks. The visual deep learning task that we choose is uh, automatic license plate recognition, which consists uh, uh, of predicting all the license plate numbers in an image. And we choose this task because uh, uh, there is still no evidence of ALPR on low power MCUs. And to tackle this challenge, we present uh, an hardware and software code design flow that enables uh, the deployment of uh, intensive uh, deep learning workloads uh, on about uh, uh, 100 milliwatt of power budget. Uh, first, we determine the hardware and software building blocks. For the software part, we split the ALPR pipeline into two simpler tasks, uh, detection and recognition. And for the hardware, we choose to use GAP8 coupled to an IMAX uh, uh, low power camera. Then we go through an optimization process based on the specific hardware characteristics, and we apply some compression techniques uh, such as quantization. And lastly, we also prove the accuracy of the whole system with both uh, public datasets and in-field testing. And we also prove uh, the uh, energy efficiency of our final system by comparing it to, with the state of the art. So uh, in conclusion, we uh, achieved the most energy efficient MCU device for automatic license plate recognition with only 117 milliwatts uh, of power consumption. This results to be uh, 73 times more energy efficient when compared to the best ALPR system in the literature, becoming the new state of the art solution for this problem. And I would like to briefly summarize uh, the main characteristics of our pipeline uh, each inference uh, consists uh, of 687 million of math operations, allowing for a throughput of 1.1 FPS. Second, the total memory footprint of the neural pipeline is only 4.1 megabyte. And third, when we're evaluating our pipeline on public benchmarks, we achieve uh, a MFP score of 39% for detection and an accuracy of over 99% uh, on the character recognition task. And after getting these results, well, we also tested our system on real-world uh, scenario, resulting in being capable of detecting plates up to four meters of distance and recognizing their numbers up to one meter. I would like you, you to in, uh, invite you reading uh, our publication at the link below in case you would like to understand more details of our research work. And as a final remark, uh, I would also like to mention that uh, uh, to foster future development, we open sourced all the models and the firmware at the GitHub link on screen. So check it out if you want to try our system by yourself. And now my presentation is over. Uh, we will be very glad to answer to any questions. Thank you for your attention. Uh Thank you, Lorenz. I see here two questions. Uh, one is, uh, have you interface, sure. uh, have you interface the thermal camera with the uh, STMCU? 
uh, we don't use a thermal camera. It's just a grayscale uh, ultra low power camera. So we we just have a very standard camera. Uh, it's a vision system, uh, uh, very standard I, one. I think the the question was left over from uh, Massimiliano. So I, it was yeah, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> I just see it right now. Probably. Uh, <laughs> But uh, let's see, uh, there is one question that is for you. Uh, how the system generalized to US or other countries' uh, license plates? Yeah, so we tested these into uh, two uh, scenarios. We tried with both uh, uh, European license plates and Chinese ones, and uh, all the results in recognition were over 99%. So as long as you have... Uh, uh, data of that country to train the network. Uh, it, it, uh, it worked uh, in uh, three different cases, in three different uh, countries of uh, license plates. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Lorenzo. I want to thank our sponsors that made this event possible. Um, so the premier sponsors, Newton, working on automated TinyML. If you were there a few days ago, we had a keynotes explaining what they're doing. Executive sponsors are ARM, um, um, Edge Impulse as well, um, and Qualcomm, um, Sentient, and then our Platinum sponsors. We have Infineon and Reality AI. Gold sponsors are Latent AI, SenseML, and our silver sponsors are EMSA, Greenwaves, HOTG, Imagimob, Kiso, Seed, and ST. And with that, I thank you very much for staying on till the very last end, um, the last day of the, and the last session of the last day. And um, with that, I think we can close the, the forum for uh, this year. Thank you, everybody, for contributing. Thank you, Andreas, for uh, also moderating this session.